戦場へ向かいましょう Hello everyone, this is Ninja Guy underscore 12 here bringing you the G-Line Full Custom. Wasn't necessarily hoping to get this suit, but after I got um, lucky in the supply drops, uh, and I got this and been using it, I do like it. Um, apologies for basically posting like four videos on support in a row, and they're all my personal colors. Uh, hopefully the next video I post isn't like that. <laughs> but, um, anyways, if you guys want to know the colors that I've used, like the actual, actual colors, you can always leave a comment on my video, or you can just leave it in the Discord server, or my Discord server. Link is in the description, and if you want to make a GBO2 request, um, just leave it in my Discord server. <clears throat> now then, we move on to the G-Line, uh, full custom. This is a 450 support at level 1, goes up to level 3, I think, now? At, um, what is it? At 550, so I'm using level 2, which is 500 cost, and it is quite fun. Basically, it reminds me of the Zeta Plus C one, where it's like, it's like a support, but it can basically play like a general. Or, um... Maybe even a raid, um, because of its two hit melee, so you got that, which is very odd in my opinion. Uh, but, anyways, regardless, it is quite fun. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is very fun, and I'm pretty sure they might add this to the recycle counter soon, at least level one. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so, because I really want to get the level one of this now, because <laughs> it is so fun. But anyway, so, this thing can equip one of two uh, weapons for its primary. You can equip either the heavy rifle, which is used by the G-Line Light Armor. Excuse me, missing that downswing there. Um, and the Assault Shotgun, which is used by the G-Line Assault uh, Armor. So, uh, I haven't really tried it with the shotgun. Uh, I did hear it is sometimes good and bad. But, um... Usually you just stick with the heavy rifle or the beams anyway, because um, your Vulcans aren't really that good. Um, so probably just best just to stick with the beams, but um, I'll try it out with the shotgun eventually. But then you also have the um, kind of smaller versions of like the beam saber lance thing that are in scythe mode for like the gym striker. You have two of them, and they're tiny as hell, and they're actually mounted on the legs, which I find really weird, but I do like it a lot, actually. I know, that is actually really cool, how they just store on through the legs, that's really cool. Um, and they do quite a bit of damage, especially the downswing. I think the animations are taken from the... Proto Gundam, if I'm not mistaken. But, but, please correct me if I am wrong. But, um, pretty sure it's based on the Proto Gundam's animations. It's, uh, f at least for the double, or the double beam savers, not the freaking beam javelin. Um, so you got that, you got some Vulcans, which are average, they're not good or bad, they're just meh. And then you have the beam cannons, which are basically, I think, nearly identical to the Gym Cannon 2's beam cannons, so... They're good, they do stagger when you hit them, most times, uh, depending on who you're actually shooting at. Um, but they do quite well, uh, and I do like that a lot. Um, basically in most situations I think this is a good alternative to the uh, Gym Cannon 2, because obviously you have a better range option in the form of the um, Beam Rifle, or the 
assault shotgun if you want to have some close uh, quarter weapon or um, if you want to actually have a mid-range weapon you can always just go with the gym rifle aka just the gym can too if you want <clears throat> so that is quite nice if you want uh, I haven't uh, gotten a match in that thing in a while so I might try to do another match in the gym can too I do miss using it <laughs> I've gotten so many supports over the past couple of months, I'm just forgetting to use some of my other supports that I like. So, <clears throat> hopefully I get a chance to do that soon. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, I could just kind of skip over to the design of this thing, which uh, I kind of, kind of growing on me actually. Before, I, I was like kind of like meh on the design, I wasn't a the biggest fan of this design which is um I mean interesting I guess but now that I've actually gotten to use it and everything I kind of respect the design now I think it's quite fun um still the one thing I really dislike about this no matter what I don't care what anyone tells me I really dislike this um one thing about this design and it's the head the head of this is like, it is very ugly. It basically reminds me of the mass production gun tank, or not gun tank, mass production gun cannon head, and I don't like it at all. It is very terrible, <laughs> in my opinion. So if I could replace the head, I would just give it the either G-Line light armor or the uh, assault armor head instead. Especially the assault armor, because I feel like if you give it the G-Line full custom, the assault armor head. Give it like maybe like a kind of riot shield and then the shotgun. You basically kind of turn this into like a riot or like a SWAT kind of mobile suit or something. Kind of similar to like the Night Police from uh, Code Geass. Something like that. It kind of reminds me of that though. I would probably switch out those kind of little beam scythes for uh, either like a beam pick or something. If it's gonna be, you know, like a police, <laughs> you know, freaking mobile suit. That'd be kind of dumb. But, dumb? Dim? Dumb? Yeah, dumb. Uh, still, there's not much about the design that I would really say pisses me off or just doesn't make me like it, aside from the head. Um, I pretty much like everything else from it, the, from the backpack to the uh, general shape of the arms, the legs especially. I love the legs. They're big and chonky. I like my mobile suits having big, chonky legs. And, um, yeah, if you saw that, I was trying to basically hit my teammates because they are really dumb. I possibly could have gotten three kills as the ace, but basically, that, um, one of those kills was taken by the Alex that I just hit. Two of them were just taken by the dumb pixie player, even though he, I was clearly right there. <laughs> So, screw that pixie player, we're basically, n we probably could have lost if their uh, ace wasn't so badly screwed over. So, <clears throat> thank god for that, but otherwise, if we had lost this match, I would have just blamed down the pixie, because it was his fault for taking so many of the kills away from me. Oh yeah, get that down swing in, oh, oh it's already over. Sad times. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and commentary, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everyone.